Hey guys, my name is Alone and welcome to a very short video that's going to be about the new Sino Porters that were put into the game. I actually just wanted to make a video talking about this briefly because I just recently made a lot of Sino Porters. So if we go into my bank here, first off I have some charges in my Grace of the Elves necklace, but I actually went for 99 Divination and I made 193 Sino Porters 4 because they were the most efficient ones with the memory shards that I got from doing the 99 Divination grind in the memory of Halts or Halts of Memories. But now you can actually make another one that is the Sino Porter 7 which requires incandescent energies and a Dragonstone necklace which it doesn't really require that many energies, 120 is pretty low amount. If you compare it with Radiant Energies, that is required to make the 5-1, and then the Luminous Energies to make the 6-1, it's 80 for Luminous Energies, and I'm going to make one of each of these, and we're going to see the difference, because this one from Incandescent Energies actually is supposed to hold 50 charges. Which is, I think, 20 more than the one below that. So, let's make the luminous one, which is the one below that. And it holds 30 items. Now, let's make the incandescent one, which is the highest one, which is the new one put into the game. And this one holds up to 50 items. So, if you farm a lot of these incandescent energies on an Iron Man, which is very easy to do... And then you just get Dragonstone somehow, which is also not that difficult. You can see I have 135 plus 20. If you do some God Wars 2, you're going to get a bunch of these. And then after that, you can make so many Porter Charges, like 20 more on each one of these. And this is for sure more efficient than making the lower ones. So let's take these out and I'm going to see if you can actually make them with these. So let's go to Sino Porters, you can make them, and they're 50. So this is one per charge. If we go to Sino Porter, okay, so for memory shards, it is still more efficient to make the lower ones, because this one holds 25 charges, I think, or 20, I'm not sure, and it's 16. So it's less than one memory shard per charge, but this one is one memory shard per charge, which is the same as this one, this is also one memory shard per shard. Uh, per charge, it's hard to say that. And this one is like a bit less because it's 25 charges in this one. So the lower ones are still more efficient to make. But if you want to make the fastest ones, I think, to get the fastest porters, charges for like archaeology or mining or whatever you want to use them for, I would definitely recommend if you have a lot of dragon stones to just farm out the uh, incandescent energies because 50 charges on one porter is massive. This is going to be such an upgrade for Iron Man that needs to form a lot of porters and I'm really happy about this. I'm going to definitely do this on my Iron Man and uh, yeah, I'm going to have so many porters for my archaeology grind. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to compare them a bit because I can make the other ones as well. This one, Sign of the Porter, I think it costs uh, 80 radiant energies or maybe it's 60. Yeah, 60 radiant energies. And you get 25 charges for this one, I think it is. This is the 5 one. 25 charges for 60 radiant energies in a ruby necklace. And that's half of what you get from the incandescent ones. Which is admittedly, I think, double the amount of energies. So it's just double the amount of energies and a higher tier necklace. But you get a lot more charges per time. So personally, I just think it's more worth making these because you can just stack them up pretty fast and get so many charges for your necklace. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any other thoughts about this, I would love to know, because if you guys think it's more efficient to still make the lower ones, for an Iron Man primarily, of course, because if you're a main, you can just buy them. But uh, for Iron Man, if you think it's still worth to make the lower ones with lower tier energies, then let me know. But I think the 50 ones are pretty insane.